Okay, these are super quick and easy. Um, I'm going to draw a real quick sketch here. Um, the sketch that I'm going to make is the coordinate grid. Okay, do that here as well, just to get the idea. If they say write an equation for a vertical line, vertical lines cross which axis? They cross the x-axis, okay? You hopefully can see that really easily. And so your equation is going to say x equals, whatever axis you're crossing, x equals. And then you just look at the point and you say, what is the x-coordinate of that point? The x-coordinate of that point is negative 7. So then it's x equals negative 7. That is your equation, okay? Because... Uh, if x equals negative 7, and by the way, that line that I drew wasn't representing the actual line that uh, we eventually had to draw, okay? But check it out then. If x equals negative 7, that means that every point on it is has an x-coordinate of negative 7. So here you go over to negative 7, and let's say go up to 5, okay? Or you go over to negative 7, you go down to negative 3. Okay, every single point has x equals negative 7, and so then you have a vertical line running through the x-axis at negative 7. Okay, horizontal lines. I'm going to do this over here. Um, just make a sketch. What are, what do, where do horizontal lines cross? What, what axis does it, a horizontal line cross? It crosses the y-axis. Okay, where does it cross the y-axis? crosses the y-axis at, well, you look at the point that they gave you and say, what's the y-coordinate? The y-coordinate is 8 over here. Okay, And so it's y equals 8. And again, the line that I drew was not representing the actual thing that they told us. So let's get it out of there and let's do it again. They say y equals 8. So what does that mean? It means no matter where you go for x, say we go over here to, to 6 for x, right? You go up to 8 for y, okay? And we can put a point there. Likewise, we can go over here to negative 4 for x. Where do we have to go for y? We have to go up here to 8 for y because it says y is 8 every time. Okay? And then if you were to that connect them, you would see that you're getting a horizontal line that goes through which axis? It goes through the y-axis. And where does it go through it? It goes through it at 8 because since every point has y... Y, a y coordinate of 8, so does this point that crosses the axis. So that's it. Really straightforward. Hopefully you make sense of that conceptual.